Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a clip from one of my interviews with producer Jack and Dino. This interview is for my documentary, Rock is Dead. If you want to see the full interview or the full documentary, the links are available below. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more. I got a little six channel mixing board and a couple of microphones and, you know, set up in my basement where, you know, I was jamming with people and it was suddenly I had a little studio. When Skin Yard started a few years later, I would record every practice, you know, just in case something unintentionally brilliant came about, I would have a record of it. And that's actually how we wrote a lot of songs Really, because I would have, you know, we would just start jamming on something and I'd say, wait, that riff there, we got to record that. And then later we'd come back to it, Smart. you know, cause it, it's, if you didn't record it at the, on, at the time, you would just forget it. It would be gone. Yeah. And were you guys officially skin yard at that point or were you still friends jamming with each other? Uh, the band started, it didn't, we didn't have a band name for the first few months, but we, our first jam, my first jam with Daniel House on bass, and we had actually a drummer named Greg Gilmore at the time. He only was with us for a, a short time, but that was, I think, New Year's Day of 1985 was the first rehearsal of what would become Skin Yard, actually. And, um, we didn't get our singer Ben McMillan until a couple months later. Uh, Matt Cameron joined the band as a drummer, I think, in late February of 1985. And I think we played our first gig at Skin Yard. It was May or June of 1985. I can't really remember right now. Um, there's a website that has all the, <laughs> the, the chronology on it. But I was recording the whole time. You know, and so I didn't actually start working in a real studio until summer of 1986, which was reciprocal recording that our friend Chris Hanzik had opened the studio. And I said, you know, hey, not only have I been recording in my basement for a long time, but I know a lot of musicians, you know, let me, I'll bring them into your studio. Let me work at your studio. He's great. 